They never showed us doing it, but you were doing meth on Sopranos. There's a whole scene where we're singing in Jesus a choir, Christ. and I'm like sweating. And I tell Tony that I did it a couple of times. Did you not watch her documentary that her kids made about her? The last thing Have I you watched, guys watched of, that? the last thing I watched of hers was the porn. Oh. Let's be real. <laughs> not today. Hey, Minnie. Hi. Uh, so I'm watching that, uh, what is it called? The Morning Show on Apple TV? Oh, yeah. I forgot the new season's out because no one can promote them. Right. So I th- the first season I thought was awesome. So good. Like really so good. good. And it was also like, was that, was that COVID? When was that? Was that before COVID? No, because the second season's about COVID. Right. So maybe it was like... Yeah, it was can, pre-COVID. Can you look when exactly... Oh, it when aired exactly, during COVID. Maybe, yeah. Yes. And if it did, it was like, oh, thank God. Yes. Like, I needed something, yes. you know? And it was just... It was it was really good, but... 2019, it says. Oh. They I watched were, it during COVID. I watched it during COVID, I think. Um, they were... Yeah, like, the morning show first episode air date, maybe? Well, the, that's 2019. 2019. Yeah, but can I just was wondering if maybe there was like a date possible. December twentieth, twenty nineteen. Okay, yeah, so it was right, oh, basically twenty twenty. Uh, first episode. Okay, no, yeah. October twenty nineteen. The um, so in this in this season, a uh, spoiler alert. I guess it's not really a spoiler alert. There was like a hack where they're, don't they're f- ruin it for me. No, no, no. It's like you know, there th- it happens everywhere. Like okay. where like th- there's a hack, and all of a sudden it's like oh, all your information's out. Okay. Everything on your phone. This. And when I'm watching this, like, and all these people are like scrambling about, oh my God, this is out there. Like, I realized that I live, I don't live that way of like, oh, stuff on my phone is safe. Like, I, I live like, this shit could be hacked at any moment. Like, mm-hmm. I don't have, like, I don't have precious shit. Like, if somebody was like, oh, we got his emails, look, and they'd be like, oh, I don't know. Like, he, he. Yeah, I don't think I have anything anyone's going to give a shit about. Yeah, like, I have nothing. And it's not because, like, I don't have, like, thoughts or things like that in my life, but it's like, I live like, yeah, anybody yeah. could see my fucking email. Like, I yeah, bet. Same. You They're like, I man, mean? she uses a lot of exclamation points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you boys live like? Like, do you have your stuff on your phone where, like, if I had, if I got hacked, I'd be dead? Like, is it, like, devastating stuff? On my phone? Yeah. Mm, um, mm, yes and no. N- no, because everything's like coded and weird. You couldn't figure it out if you got in my phone. It, it's it's all fucked up. Like all my contacts are emojis and shit. Like my phone doesn't make any sense. <sighs> oh, yeah. yeah. See, that's the thing. It, it would suck for other people if my contacts got out. But like, you know what I mean? Like for me, it's not like because these people, it's more so like, Oh well, my they're god! They're like shit talking other people in business and like yeah, that it's kind just of like stuff. my life is ruined or like you know they're making fucking pornos and this were like if I did make a porno, it would be locked up in a cell. I mean, I guess that's how how Tommy Lee and Pamela's got taken apparently, but really it didn't. Like, but they said that their thing was like in a safe, yeah, locked up. Which come on, but that's how I, I would do it in Why a do way. Why do you say that? What? Why do you say come on? Why because don't you believe it, that? Isn't it out that like they were in on it the whole they time? They were not in on it. Oh, okay. It ruined I her life. You didn't watch Pam and Tommy? No, I didn't. Mm. Should I? Yeah. Okay. Poor thing. Then that's yeah. it. What, it was it was sad. It was devastating for her. You should you know did you not watch her documentary that her kids made about her? The last thing Have I you watched, guys watched of, that? the last thing I watched of hers was the porn. Oh. Let's be real. <laughs> over <laughs> and over and over. Sort of the resurgence that she's having right now, which is awesome and I'm totally here for, is comes from this beautiful documentary that her two boys made of her, about her, and they have so much love and respect for their mom, clearly. And it's just about her whole story, like coming into Playboy, every, coming from Canada. Like she's very open. She's very honest about it all. They made home movies all the time, not just sex. Like it was so much part of like their joy and their love. And like, I think she still says like Tommy was like the love of her life, like for sure. Like they were madly in love, but. And what was the, the allegedly it's just like somebody came somebody in and stole it out of a safe. Somebody that was working at their house stole it. Wow. And sold it. And the, she tried everything to stop it, to fight it. And they, they basically, the courts deemed her powerless Obviously, that would never be the case now, but a lot of it was because, like, you pose in Playboy. This is who you are. Wow, really? You should be, you can't say no to this now, essentially. And she felt very, you know, 
objectified and very like wrongly treated because of this image of what they had they have of who she is because she posed in Playboy that almost she deserved it in a way. Did they catch the person who did it? Who stole it? Thanks. Uh, what a what a fucked up move to like. It's sell terrible. It, but it's like so sad. But I gotta say, the and guy, so they made zero dollars on it though. They made zero money on it. The guy stealing the tape and maybe making one copy for himself. I'm not gonna say it's the total scumbag move, but selling it is. But like, yeah. but like, if you see that, I've to never not, seen it. To what? Well, why would I have seen it? I mean, I guess you're a chick, whatever. But oh my god, I just remember back in the day, it was like. It was in my VCR, no joke, probably for four years and never... You would just press play every once in a while? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, well, I mean, <laughs> James, it was it was unreal. Everything wow. was like, she is, well, she you're was... you're going to feel bad after you... And you should watch this documentary because it's really... She's such an amazing woman, but it's really sad what happened to her. Yeah. Sorry. That's terrible. I, they ruined should, it for should, you? <laughs> well, should, no, I'm just, because, I mean, man, there were a good four years where it was like a daily. I remember. Wow. I so think, you know it by heart. I think I might have stolen the tape from somebody. <laughs> really? I think somebody had oh, it, and I was like, I it. need to get my hands on that. Yeah. I feel, I, I, unfortunately, I sympathize with the, you know. What a time, guys. I mean, remember the Girls Gone Wild commercials? Like oh, do 10 I? p.m. And it's just all you saw on Channel 11. And you you know what the sc- the scam was with that, that all of my friends fell for? Because I still lived with my mom, but I had friends who were older. So they would order it, and it was like twenty nine ninety nine. But then what happened was you got charged every month or something and like got more Why? shit. And it was in those days where it wasn't just easy. Like now we know how to cancel subscriptions and like yeah. Apple makes it easy. But it was like hard to cancel a subscription and be like, oh, our hours are only from like two to four. Like, you know, and I had friends who were like, yeah, man, I got to cancel that. And then we were like potheads and they would always forget and be like, fuck it. I just got charged again from fucking girls gone wild. Oh yeah, my god. Yeah. And that's and he he's like lives in Mexico or something, right? He's like not in the country or allowed in the country or something. I don't associate myself with people like that, so oh, I wouldn't know. Sorry. But sorry, Rob. Um, let's go. What do you want to do, Jamie? We could go to the cup. We could go to a memory lane. We could go to a well, email. Let's do these emails. We could do a sweet and sour. Um, okay, this one's short first. Dating someone with three nipples. Hey guys, what's up? You huge fan of your guys' podcast. A topic I would like to share with you guys for Sweet and Sour is how would you handle relations if you were seeing a girl or man and discovered they had three nipples? Would this bother any of you or ruin the relationship or would it make the relationship better? Best Cameron. Well, I have questions. Where is the third nipple? Is it next to one of the other ones? Great is question. it in another area of the body? Like where do third nipples usually show up? Have you ever seen someone with three nipples? I have, and here's the Where problem. Where was it? Well, the the original one, the first one I ever saw was in a movie, and it was fake, but it was in, um, can you can you do Tales from the Crypt, Bordello of Blood, Three Nipples? <laughs> How the fuck do you remember that? Oh, my Jamie, God. Jamie, listen, I remember. Re- I loved Tales from the Crypt when I was little, Tales though. Tales from the Crypt, Bordello of Blood, Three Nipples. We're obviously not going to be able to show this on YouTube, but we'll let Jamie see it. And, and I remember being like, this is hot, because that's why. I remember being like, oh, I think I want a chick with three nipples. Bordello of blood? Yeah, yeah. We went to see this over and over because there were a bunch of naked chicks in it. Where do you mean you went to see it? On 86th Street in a movie theater. There's a girl with three nipples. Oh, come on. Show her. I think that's... I think that might be her. They're just not showing her three nipples. Oh, she's a redhead. I forget her name. She's a, she's a famous... Yeah, uh, I've seen her before. But yeah, so the first time I ever saw it was this... But then I've seen it with other people, and the problem is it's not what you're thinking where it looks like another nipple. It just looks like a, like a little piece of, like, prosciutto or, like, ham or, like, something. You know what I mean? It's not a full... Damn. Is this a full-length feature film? Oh, yeah. Well, ha- have any, of you, guys, nipple, have any great... of you guys seen a uh, third nipple? Hell no. No. Mm-mm. I no. have not. Sounds fun, though. I'm not a nipple gal, so I don't know if it would make it more fun. I wouldn't judge necessarily about it. If I had a third nipple, I'd probably get it removed. Really? See, yeah. I think if it looks just like another nipple, I think it's dope. I think if it looks like something weird, like what is that? Because like, so I've I've seen friends who have like a third nipple thing and they have to be like, yeah, no, that's a third nipple. And you're like, is it? Because you don't even really, like it's not. A- like, would there be a third nipple randomly on your stomach? 
No, then it probably becomes something else, but maybe they could. I don't know. I don't really find the fun in nipples, so it doesn't doesn't really... See, I fall in love with the person. <laughs> Cutter, Cutter's ro- so mad at me right now. He hates that. I, I, yeah, it's it's tough. But I think like if it's hot, like it was in that movie, then it's hot. Like I wish we could find it. We'll we'll have to have. Well, all right. We're, so we're on the case. <laughs> somebody, somebody <laughs> find us that. I'll read this other sweet and sour where we're going. Hey guys, for several years I have been living in the Southeast Asian country of Myanmar. Myanmar, come on, Jay. Myanmar. That's right next to Lithuania. During the pandemic, I got stuck here and was unable to renew my visa. Then in February 2021, a military coup overthrew the democratic government and the new military has exhibited their control by setting strict curfews and throwing anyone they can into prison. Are we breaking news right now? Which includes people with expired visas. The U.S. Embassy recommended that I turn myself into immigration. However, people who have done that have been sentenced to three years in prison. I am torn between two choices. Wait out the conflict until rebel militias restore the democracy, which seems likely but may take a long time, or hire a drug trafficker or rebel militia to smuggle me into Thailand. Do you have advice? Even I'd advice to help keep me sane during this isolation while in hiding would be appreciated. That's what we're here for. Just keep listening to the you pod. You'll be all right. You can read his salutation. Yeah, I'm not going to read that. Okay. What? Um, what? What? I but you can uh, listen to Not Today, pal? What's going on? What? <laughs> Let him <laughs> Let him out. I'll never understand this. Why would oh a country god. let somebody leave? Oh my god. We this has to be the social clip for this episode. It has to be Jamie reading this and then going, wait, what? Because this is blowing my mind. Wait, What's what? happening? <laughs> is anybody else just mind blown? What's going on? Why can't this guy get out? Guys, what do you think about this? Are we not getting the whole story? Are we for several years in Southeast Asia country hall? And during the pandemic, I got stuck here, unable to renew my visa. Then, in February 2021, a military coup overthrew the democratic government, and the new military coup has exhibited their control by setting strict curfews and throwing anyone they can into prison. Like you're like, hey, I'm American. My visa ran out during COVID. I want to go home, and they'll be like, off to jail you go. That's not this okay. Is crazy. We need to help this guy. I would. Lo- oh my god! If this person could send us a video, I would love a video of them breaking down what's going on over here in Miami. Yeah, I need more information. By the way, is this like? Why is this not on the news? Like, how dumb? How dumb are we? is this? Is this from someone? Are we gonna save is this someone's all, life is this all on this a bit? podcast? Is this, is this all a bit? Is this from somebody in the booth? Need more information. What's going on here, guys? Trapped and hiding in. How do you pronounce it? Myanmar. Myanmar. How do you know how that how to pronounce that? I'm a man of the world, James. What's Myanmar? I'm a man of the world. <laughs> Used to be Burma. Yeah. Oh. It's the old Burma. <laughs> until the until the rebel militias took over. Yeah. So Chad, you want to you want do you know about what's going on over there? I have not heard of this. Why yeah, do you think is, Chad knows what's going he's on? He's a over very there. smart I'm, young man. I'm, you know, kind of worldly. I've traveled quite a bit. I've I've been to places. I've been to Lithuania. Have um, you seen the Tony statue? I have not. I have mm. not seen the Tony statue. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what this person... I, I mean, I like the smuggling route. I'd get myself a coyote and get out of there. Yeah, I think that's, I guess, what I would do. How do you get out of there? I mean, Find I the nicest drug trafficker I could find. Normally, I'm all about giving advice, but I, I'd fear I'd give this person advice and they'd get like their head chopped I'm off stumped. or some shit. Um, well, all okay. right. Let's let's enter let's enter the cup. Or, or yeah, that's a very. You were eating candy before this pod. I wasn't eating that candy though. No, but do you know what's going on with Skittles? Yes. Yeah, so California is. Well, start this with what's your favorite candy in the world? Wildberry Skittles. Wildberry Skittles. So there, uh, but I have not had them in a very long time. Well, I probably got you to hate them because I got you so many for Christmas. You remember? Yes, you did. <laughs> I got, you got you a me ten a gallon. Cool, huge thing. That <laughs> yeah. was amazing. Yeah. I was pregnant that Christmas though, wasn't I? Were you? With Jack. Really? Yeah. Wow. I think. And strawberry rhubarb pie. Shout out. He knows me so well. Um, so California is about to ban Skittles um, because of um, ingredients that cause cancer that are like proven to cause cancer. And this, these ingredients that are in Skittles are banned in many nations in our world. 
So is everything in our food. Correct. Which yes. is so why we're, But we're getting Skittles? there. This is one step in the right direction. Why are they going after Skittles, But Jane? you know what? I will say that I've told both my kids this Halloween when they would grab Skittles, I would say there's something in there that causes you cancer. You can't even buy that in California. And Bo puts it down every time. Wow. I'm so proud of him because I don't, I feel like as a kid, I would never give a fuck. I something feel like was bad three years ago, you wouldn't have yeah, that's given what I a mean. fuck, right? Would you, would you care now? Like if you were really wanting I, Skittles, I am would you? so much more conscious and like, I, I don't know. I just feel like the older I get, like mortality is like, you know, more of like an actual thing I think about. Um, Boys, do you give a fuck that there's poison in certain things or you just fuck it? I feel like Eddie's a fuck it guy. I don't give a fuck about no colors, man. I ain't afraid of a color. Get out of here. I don't even see. I don't even see color. I don't even get the whole Skittles thing. It's just a bunch of same colored candies Mm. to me. Are you colorblind? That's cap. Yeah. Oh, see that? We're 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 bonding. She's a woman in the field. You finally you got your first woman in the field. Beautiful. Shout out. I always use more reporters. I got you. Yeah. What if her dating app photo should be as a reporter in the field? That's your that cap for the day. Mm. Um, yeah. So Skittles is getting banned. All right. So I got a little. I got a little story for us. Okay. Quick. So my brother uh, did an Ironman, like full. He does. He so you do the swim, then you do the run, then, then you the do bike. the bike, or maybe it's bike then swim. I, f- I forget that. It yeah. should be bike last because at least you can like. I think coast it was, for a second. I, I know it was swim first. Then I think it was uh, bike and then run. Brutal. I think, yeah. Mean. So um, I went. I saw him the day after he did it, and he's like, I have a story for you. I'm like, what's up? So the whole night before he couldn't sleep, he's just fucking freaking out, thinking about it. You know, he wants to get there and like this, and it's starting to rain, so he's got to cancel it. No, by the way, they do it in like a full rain, windstorm in New York. So he's like, we get there, and he's like, right before it starts, he goes, I got to take a shit. And he's like, I, and there's porta potties and there's long ass lines. And I was like, oh, this is fucking devastating. So he's like, I wait, like however how long on the the line. He's like, I get in, and he's like, now I realize I he has a wetsuit on for the swim, and then under it a dry suit for the other stuff. So he's like, I got, I'm trying to take both of these suits off without it touching anything in the porta potty. He was just describing this to me. There was sweat dripping from my armpits, where I was like, this is my worst. Oh. And, I, and he's like, by the way. There's a line of however many people waiting outside of it. The wind is like thrashing this thing around and the rain is just hitting it. He's like, it was the worst experience. So now he's like, I finally figured it out. I shit. He's like, I start wiping. And he goes, it was one of those shits where the more I wiped, the, the more, more was there. Was <laughs> that oh, was the exact. Was it nerves? I don't, I don't know what it was, but he said it was like the worst. And then people start like banging oh on the thing. They're like, God. yo, like, come on. Like, we all got to use it. And he's like, it was the worst experience. And then my dad goes, uh, so he goes, it's like the more you wipe, the more it was there. My dad goes, yeah, it's like wiping a brown crayon, right? Like, that was like my <sighs> dad. My dad was like, it's trying to like clean off a brown crayon. And we're all sitting around. I went to go visit my family, obviously, in New York. And this was our first thing. I'm like, this sounds. Torture. I can't imagine of, of things to happen to me. I, if you put me stuck in Myanmar or having to shit at a fucking a porta potty in the rain with 40 people outside in a double wet Before wetsuit, you're about to do an Iron Man. In the cold, I can't even. How do you do in the race? Imagine. Oh, he did good. He finished. He whatever. I don't know. Like he, he didn't. He wasn't like, oh, I got 70. Or like whatever. Yeah. yeah. He just. um. Wow. Why well, you got to throw a dig out there? He didn't place. That's fucked up. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of my brother. Damn, Jane. I wasn't. I wasn't saying it you to didn't like. Place? Yeah. What a waste <laughs> of your time. That's fucked up. I cannot believe. Like when I, I didn't need to hear any. Like I was like, no. So I was like, did this make the Iron I Man? I actually kind want of you easy? to stop saying it because it's making me so upset. Dude, could you stop talking about it? Imagine it, it no. had me. Shout out to Cutter. I was rattled. Rattled. I was fully rattled. And he's like, "Yeah, I knew you'd love that." Yeah. I'm like, "Dude, you're a legend. Oof. Way to go." Oof. That was more impressive to me than the full Iron Man. Of course. Taking that Doing shit. Doing that. Double suited. Getting through that. <sighs> what a legend. All right, we got the He's a hero. He's a hero. <laughs> if you could spy on someone for the next month without them ever knowing, would you? Who? And have you ever? I would love to watch like my kids at school 
Mm, okay. I just want to know. I just like want to watch them like out in the world. Does that make sense? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I would. Yeah. I, I would be. I would love it. I've pulled up to pick up your kids from school with you, and you love to like peek through the mm-hmm. fence, make look, look, look. He's over there. Mm-hmm. So uh, you know, mm-hmm. one time we saw Jack like slam his hand into the wall, and you were like, "Oh no, he's having a hard time." <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, quick, quick break. I just told Rob earlier. Jack, in a fit of rage, the other day punched his iPad and shattered the screen. And for everyone out there, he is how old? Five. Yeah. What boys? If you could spy on somebody for like a month or a week or whatever, if if, if they would never know, would you do it? No one wants to jump at this one, huh? Man, a lot of silence. I mean, I, I don't know who I would want to spy on. I feel like, like they have some no kind of secret operation, and they're all feeling awkward because they don't want to tell us about it. Do you guys, is there a camera run? in the bathroom? Are you guys spies? Are you watching me go pee-pee before the episodes? <laughs> yeah, what did you say, Zola? I, I said I'd spy on you. I want to me? see how you live. Yeah. yeah oh, you, you live? so strange. After about 20 minutes, you'd be like, okay, I'm done. It's it's the most You're like, boring. He's still meditating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the most he's boring. He's still shit. mixing his dressing in that bowl. You guys, Rob made a homemade <laughs> dressing in my house, and Cutter and I, I swear to God, kept looking at each other like he's still whisking that thing. You walked around my kitchen island. It's called for emulsifying. Like Ten minutes, just doing this. Chad knows that word. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, emulsify, dude. What? So any, are we, are we spying on anybody if we could and they wouldn't know? I feel like the answer is yes, but you're trying to figure out what you should say. Mm, no, I don't. I mean, no, nah, I don't know. I, I think if I wanted to spy on you, I'm probably watching you already. So, But you, you wouldn't want to know what your girl's up to when you're not around, none know, of that? I know what she's up to. Uh, you think you know what she's oh, up to. Oh, I know to. what she's up to. He's a tech oh, guy. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you have her on like find my friends on your phone? You know where she's at all the time? Are you yeah, that dude? I got what I got, man. I just know where my people at. You know what I'm saying? Is that just why is that why everything is encrypted? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> damn. Okay. Wow. Respect. Respect. <laughs> Location is on, huh? Chad, we spying on anybody? Um I'm not much of a voyeur, but I think I would be strategic about it. It'd probably be like, I need to get some info that's gonna help me with my future. You know, something financial. So mm. I would have to. Think that's about called it. insider trading. Exactly. Actually, I never thought about that. Yeah, right? Like, we should fucking spy up on like Apple or like, so, you know, the meetings when we know that they're about yeah. to like release some shit. Exactly. Hell Let's make yeah. some money. I like that. Let's do Damn, it. Damn, that's good. See, he we're is the a new, smart guy. We're the new Ocean's Eleven, this crew right here. I told you he was a I smart like it. one, Jamie. Wouldn't that like, be a good asking, little film? Why are you asking Chad? Now you know. Chad's got the answers. Oh, I've never doubted Chad. You doubted Chad earlier. When have I ever doubted like, why, Chad? Chad, did she not doubt you earlier? I was just saying, wh- I didn't she, doubt he had the answer. I was like, why are you singling him out? Chad? Nah, she was like, why would this nerd know about Myanmar? Myanmar, what the fuck does he know? It's pretty much exactly what she said. Chad, you couldn't be wrong, more wrong about my feelings about you. I don't know. I think Chad's always right. Here, let's get another, let's get one. another one out of there. What? Is the last thing you lost? Do you misplace these a lot? Sunglasses. All the fucking time. I lose all of my sunglasses. Really? I don't know how. I really feel like I'm responsible. I have no idea, but they're always, always gone. See, and Any had asked previously, what's good about me having OCD in a relationship? I will, a girl never has to worry about me losing shit. Like, I never lose fucking any, every single one of my pants have zipper pockets, Yami Lee knows, because I won't, I refuse to lose. You like that attitude, Any? Refuse love to lose, it. baby. I hashtag. Hashtag refuse to play, lose. But I love it. It's, it's played? It's I said pl- until we play it, but I love it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah it's played. Mm-hmm. See, I'm, see I, me and, I'm like, we're on the same team, and he <laughs> wants to go against me. I'm saying we don't lose. I know, I hate people on my team. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say, bro. I'm saying right. in life. Yeah. We don't lose. We refuse to lose. Yeah. Even independently, you refuse to lose. I refuse to lose. That's true. That's true. It's Sweet. just when two people like that meet, though. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. be a loser. But I Always. will. I fucking never lose. And now, Anything? you know, that whole thing of like, no, you're going to lose something, which sucks. I don't want to lose something. But, yeah, I just don't. I mean, like, you know, the corny shit like socks. I actually, when I was in New York, I left my laptop charger at my dad's. <gasps> and I was like blown away that I was like, wow, I can't believe. I Did, did he that. bring it? Uh, luckily, New York has a 24-hour Apple store. I went right there. By the way, you want to go to a fucking tough place? Oh, yeah. Go to an Apple store at midnight 
Uh, it was like 11.30 on a Sunday. What's happening there? It is just, it's like a train station. Like you're just like, Jesus Christ, there's so many people. And half the people are there because they, they're they like tourists and they want to take pictures inside of them. Like, look, I was at an Apple store, which is a fucking loser at move. At midnight? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, what are these people doing? It's like the new Times Square. It's like a, it's like an exhibit in New York City where all these people are like Instagram, taking photos and stuff. And I'm like, it's a store. Like they sell shit. Dude, people piss me off. And then, of course, the person's like, oh, well, it's going to be like this kind of weight and this. I'm like, I need I need that thing. Like, And they're like, okay. Like, they like kind of like, dude, don't even fucking, don't even get me don't started. Leave the house? I, uh, okay, so here's the thing that I, I came across that I want to know what everybody in here would do. I was watching a thing about somebody who was kidnapped. Somebody who's kidnapped. They thought that they saw the person who kidnapped her and her in a Denny's somewhere so right away like the people in the denny's like fuck what do we do so what my my question is like what the fuck do you do like if, if they're talking about somebody who's kidnapped you're sitting at a denny's and you're like hey that looks like the girl but she's like with the guy who just appears to be like her dad like how do you approach the situation like you can't go up to him and be like hey i think you were kidnapped." i would like, try to get her to make eye contact with me and be like okay. are you okay but then if she's like daddy that person is like being really weird I mean, then I'll back off, but I'll try. Guys, what do you do? You I call the fucking yeah. police. You call you the right, but I'm saying, let's say, okay, <laughs> the police take time. Like, you, you've heard these situations <laughs> where it's like, police take fucking a long time to get somewhere. Let's say four minutes in, they're getting up and they're leaving or whatever. Like, what's, what's your move? Keep an eye on them. See what yeah, follow they them. get into. Follow, follow them. them. Be, make, but, yeah. make an excuse. Can you help me with something? Oh, that's, that's good. I like the excuse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I You're like, hey, I'm, I'm, making a, I'm making a dating profile. You think you could take some pictures of me here? <laughs> <laughs> Can you just give me your opinion on my dating profile? I just need yeah. a stranger's opinion. It says have a friend, write something, but I don't have any friends. Could you just write something like really... How would you describe me? Don't I seem nice? <laughs> what are my five best qualities? Because I think it's like a tough... It's just a tough situation. We're obvious because like, you know, the first thought is like, Okay, you, you, you start alerting authorities, but then you tell, like, a waitress, you know what I mean? Like, you tell a waitress, like, hey, doesn't this look like blah, blah, blah? But, man, that's a hard... Being you can't... around, like, real danger or, like, real... I've told you about the guy. I told warning. you guys about... No. I told you about the girl that was getting in the hotel room next to me, right? I told that story on here. Yeah, you saved with the life. guy. Yeah. But like we being in a situation around where you feel like there's real danger or real like an injustice. What's the word I'm looking for? Like where something like serious is going on. Um, serious is the word you're, you're looking for. <laughs> What's the word? N- none of us in here remember that story. I don't know if you said that on the show. Oh, maybe you told it on uh, on pajama pants. Okay. Well, really briefly, I was in a hotel room in Miami and. Um, well, hold on, really briefly. It's like one of the greatest stories. Like, it's, it's an incredible story. You like save somebody's life. Maybe you don't just gloss over it. But, uh, but the point <laughs> of me telling it is that you you have this hero. quick moment where you know you have a choice, and neither is necessarily right or wrong. Like you don't have to be the hero, but you're you. It's like this quick second where like your brain computes like you can do this or this. Like, and those are your choices. And so in this moment, there was a girl, it was late at night, I was in a hotel room with my mom in Miami, it was around midnight, and I was awoken to hearing like a struggle in the room next to me and a girl scream, I heard a bottle break, um, and then I heard her running and like screaming to try to get him away, and my instinct was to open my door and go to that room next door, I I was literally in like my underwear, and when I opened the door, her hand was trying to get out of the door and he was trying to close it on her. And there were grown men standing in this hallway, just staring, like not like frozen, like not again, not they were wrong, but like it yeah, was yeah, scary. Yeah. And I just like put all my little weight on the door and shoved it in. And I think it might've scared him back. And I grabbed her and I brought her into my room and closed the door. She was like covered in blood. She had broken a champagne bottle over his head. And I guess he was bleeding on her. And in that moment, we called downstairs because I said to her, what is he wearing? What does he look like? And I remember she saying, he had a striped shirt. His name is James. And I just broke a bottle over his head. And I called down to the lobby and I said, there's a man in a striped shirt with a cut in his head. He probably has blood. 
he just tried to, I was like, what happened? She's like, he tried to me. And like, then I was there at the hotel for two days being questioned and they got him. The guy had like 12 passports on him. He was a, yeah, he was wanted for identity theft and all this kind of shit. But it's, there's this in the point of this is that like, again, they're in that moment. Like you really feel like you have a choice and I feel like I would always choose the, I got to do something. One. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. You're uh yeah, you're a hero. I can't believe you didn't uh I thought I told that story. You didn't tell it on here, but you no. told it on Pajama Pants maybe, for sure. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Yamie y- 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 Lee's a hero guy. You didn't know? They call me the Miami hero. Yeah. Thank you. They call her the Miami. Should takes, I put that on my profile? My dating profile? Yeah. She saved takes, a girl's life once. Don't even think about it, James. That's what you should say. Yeah. She, Fuck yeah, you, she, James. She takes her cape off to come in here. Guys. Yeah. She yeah. just Yeah, no. But we haven't done a who knows less about Sopranos in a very long time. No. Do we have um, uh, stuff from Time Immemorial still? Yes. All right. What do Meadow and Hunter ask Christopher for? What do Meadow and Hunter ask Christopher for to help with studying? Oh, Crystal I'm, meth. Oh, damn. I was going to say Adderall. I don't think Adderall existed then. Jesus, you were asking for crystal meth? Right? Jamie got it right. Yep, yeah, crystal meth. It's crystal meth. Yeah. Wow, you went from a fucking hero to a zero real quick on this pod. You <laughs> yeah. fucking asking people for we, meth? Crystal game? meth was to keep us, to help us stay up late to study. Jesus Christ, did he get it for you? Yes, we took it. There's you a did whole crystal, scene where. You don't take crystal meth. Do you smoke it, right? Uh, They never showed us doing it, but. You were doing meth on Sopranos? There's a whole scene where we're singing in Jesus a choir Christ. and I'm like sweating. And I tell Tony that I did it a couple of times. Holy shit. Yeah. Meadow wasn't like, you know, a so, press. So when you find out, okay, I have to be on crystal meth in this scene, what kind of, do you do research to be like, what is it like to be on crystal meth? No, I remember whoever was directing the episode might have been John Patterson. I remember whoever was the director explaining to me, like, what, like telling me what to do, like, um, like to be fidgeting my fingers a lot. They put like a ton of sweat on me, like making me feel like uncomfortable in my skin. But I had to sing. Like I had to sing like a solo in my choir as I was like on meth, essentially. Wow. I didn't know. You should know. watch the show. No, that's all right. It's I only got, in the first um, season. You'll get to it quick. No, I got other stuff to do. How do we go on with the pot? I think I think we got to wrap it up because you're just so... It's all those Skittles I ate back in the day. Yeah, yeah. All that dye in my body. You make me feel so honored just to sit across from you. Happy to do it. Yeah. All right, guys. That's another, that's another ep. 